Hello, Meg here, and I'm your Monday substitute host here on The Pagan Perspective. This week's topic comes from Freedom Fighter, and they ask, what can paganism learn from various, oh sorry, excuse me, what can paganism learn from the history of various or specific world religions so that we do not repeat the same mistakes and so that we become and grow into a better religion in general? So I just want to be specific about the termora, uh, termora, termora, oh no, it's starting, about the termora, oh, I can't, oh, I can't, oh my goodness, when we say better, <laughs> terminology, ah, there, got it, thank you, Mary, um, <laughs> when we um, say better, I just want to be specific that I don't really agree with the term better if we're meaning um, that we're a, the better religion among all the rest. Um, but I don't think Freedom Fighter is meaning it in that way. I think they mean it more in how can we progress to better ourselves in our religion on our paths. Boy, that was hard. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so I'll get into it. I think, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put my head on my hand. <laughs> If you stuck with me for this long, thank you. <laughs> so, I think paganism, we naturally have it in us to look back in history, look at what's happened, and think, how can we do it differently so that we can make things better? I think it's in our nature to go with the changes and go with the flow of nature so that we can progress and go with her rather than repeat the mistakes of history where humanity has tried to go against nature and where humanity has even tried to go against humanity in that once they found a dogma that they believed in and that they found to be the true, the one and only dogma or religion or belief and then tried to use force to force others to follow that ideal uh, it's never worked. It might have worked for, for a while, even maybe even a few hundred years, or maybe even 2019 years, but <laughs> it eventually dies out. And that's because it's going against nature. And I find that paganism has been able to survive for so long and only get stronger with the years because we go with the flow. We are open and ready for change as it comes. We don't try to hinder the progression of humanity. Instead, we um, we try to, what's the word, we try to absorb as much information as possible. We let our curiosity um, guide us to, to, better, to, to answers and to solutions. Um, yeah, and, and I, th I think we just need to stick to it because it's working. And it's really the better, the better choice, the better solution above all the rest. And we can learn from the history of other religions that force and violence never work long term. They might work short term. You might get your word across. You might get a few really um, loyal followers. But you will never get the hearts and souls of those who don't believe profoundly, where they just believe superficially in a sense to say that, oh yes, I follow your religion, so that they can survive in, in, in society. So if you really want someone to truly believe in um, what you truly believe in, then you just you share your information and then you let nature do the rest. And you let the energies or the gods or the god or whatnot do the rest. It is not your job to um, collect more pagan followers, if you will. It'll happen naturally. And I think we pagans, we, we understand this. We understand that it will come naturally um, when it's supposed to come, when it's supposed to happen. So I think that's probably the biggest thing that we can learn from, from history is that violence never works long term. Uh, and that if you do want to get your view and point across, so that, it, for example, I believe as a pagan that I need to be, be politically active 
and I need to fight for the environment and I need to fight for socialism because I need to take care of my fellow humans even if we are on different paths I need to take care of my fellow humans because we are here as a community and I'm here for the progression and expansion of humanity so we need to take care of each other and I need to fight for the environment because nature she she's my church and she is what I worship and I need to I need to help take care of her because um not that she needs me because I think she'll do just fine without humans on this planet but I need her and I would love to have more time with her and I would love for others to be able to enjoy her but we're doing so much damage now that as a pagan I cannot just sit down and wait for change to happen I have to actively be in there to help make that change and I think that's something that pagans can learn from history is like well we did that that didn't work we need to try something new so that we can get earth back to where she was or at least help her as much as possible so that humans can continue to stay on this planet and um, and enjoy the bounty that we have here on this earth uh, what else so yes and also that when we want to where I was going with this also is that when we do want to get our view across and it's just not working we still don't go into violence as a solution because it's never a solution and we can learn from history that you can fight and win without violence. Uh, so that's something else that we can learn. Uh, so yes, um, also something else that we can learn from history is that not accepting others for the path that they are on is not going to work. We need to accept each other for who we are and what we believe um, and what we believe in and how and how we go about living our lives. As long as we are not doing any harm to anyone or anything, then live and let live. That's sort of my, my go-to motto for that. So accepting one another, because you can find in history that as soon as someone was not okay with some, how someone else was doing something, even if in the end it was for the same reasons, because in the end, we all believe in the same thing. We all believe in that source, that energy, that God, that goddess, that creator, that that thing that makes the world go round. We all believe in that. We just have different ways of going about um, our lives with, you know, with our connection with this source. Once we get that in our minds, we can accept each other for who we are. We can be open and we can share our ideas. And it's through sharing these ideas that we learn and therefore progress and expand. So um, in history, we can see that whenever a religion tried to hinder another, um, it just stopped everything completely. Look at the Dark Ages, you know, with the, the illness and just the fear, the amount of fear, and there was no progression for hundreds and hundreds of years because people were too damn scared to blink. Um, and so it just does nothing for progression. So acceptance is, is really key, accepting one another, and we're already doing it. Here on the Pagan Perspective, um, even before I was even a part of this channel, we were able to create this community of people on different paths. We're all on different paths and we know that and we accept that because we know too that we all believe in the same thing in the end. And that's what matters. And so we are open, we open ourselves to each other and we share information, we get it out there so that we can progress and expand as a community together. And uh, you, the viewers, you, you, you help it happen and you are part of this community as well. And through your comments and through your questions, you too are sharing this information and, and opening yourselves and opening us to you and so that we can, we can have this exchange of information and spiritual connection and so that we can further um, grow and progress and expand together. And I think that's wonderful and I think that's magical and um, it fills me with joy whenever I think about it. So, so thank you already for that because you, the viewer, help me with my progression and expansion so that I can in turn give that back out and help others hopefully <laughs> in their expansion and progression um, not just as a human but as a soulful being so yeah so that's fantastic so yeah so violence is not always the answer acceptance 
is the answer when there's no harm being done. Be politically active, fight for the environment, fight for socialism so that we can take care of one another. Uh, and um, yeah, I would say the last thing that we can learn is that uh, we don't always have the answers. So keep your curiosity and go out there and find the answers. Don't just sit down on the couch and say, well, that's life, or uh, the answer is always God, or the answer is always the goddess, or something like that. No, go out there and find the answers. Science can really help us progress as spiritual beings. Once we know the inner workings of something, then we can further connect with it and then really put full intention and understand. Once we understand what it is we're working with, we can really put even more intention into it and make our magic happen. So keep your curiosity. Don't hinder your, your thought process by these religious ideas of saying, well, in my religion, it says that the answer is this, and so it is this. Don't do it. Don't kill that spark inside of you that, that we are born with. We are naturally curious creatures, and we need to go out there, and we need to explore, and we need to find the answers, and we need to accept that in this lifetime, we won't have all the answers. But because we keep our curiosity and we go out there and we look for the answers and the solutions, we will one day, as, as a species, find those answers and the solutions and only further progress and expand. And that's what's wonderful. You play your part by keeping your curiosity, by going out there and finding the answers or finding the clues, the, the bricks that make the path to get to the answer. You are, do, you are playing your part. You are helping. Every brick counts to get there. Every step on the ladder counts to get there. Every step in the stairs counts, so on and so forth. You get what I mean. So even if you don't find the answer at the end, just know that your curiosity and you going out there and trying to find it only brought the next person even closer and the next person even closer and where eventually someone will find the answer and I think that's fantastic and that is magical in itself as well. Also I would say um, we have to remember that we need to go with the flow and we need to be open to change because it's those who have had it, those who refused to go with the change who wanted to stay in the past when you know those were the good old days we're going to go back to that i'm going to stick to that it doesn't work people always say repeat uh, history re history sorry repeats itself but i think it's stupidity and fear that repeats itself because when we open ourselves and we have the courage to move forward because it's the only direction we can really go is forward um, then we will see that the world will, and universe will just open up to us and that change is not so scary after all. We have to remember that the cycle is not a full circle, it is a spiral. So just when you think it's coming back around, it's going to go and spiral into a new, com a completely different circle. And it just, it's just going to keep turning like that. And it's the same for nature. We think that, oh, the, the seasons are always the same. We, you know, we have autumn, winter, spring, and then summer. Autumn, winter, spring, and summer. No, look how the seasons are changing. Our winters are getting longer and colder. Our summers are getting shorter and hotter. Everything's changing. And you have to be open and ready and have the courage to go with that change. And you will only be the better for it. And I think we naturally have this instinct in us um, as pagans. We kind of had, have these mutual foundations. And that's what led us to this pagan path that we are all on now. And we are naturally curious. We are naturally open, ready to go with the flow, open to change, ready to accept one another, and ready to fight for Earth, for this Earth, and, um, and for humanity. And uh, so... When we look back in history, everything that had ever tried to go against any of those, it never worked, at least not for very long. Um, love always wins, and good heart, great spirit, and courage always win. And even if it's not you personally who gets to per do the victory parade, it's the steps that you took to better yourself and or paganism or this planet or humanity in this planet that allowed the next person to get even further so don't forget that you are just as important as the person 
in ahead of you that will um, that will find the answer or even progress even more. We are here to better each other, and to better ourselves, and to therefore better each other. As a parent, a lot of parents say, oh, "I want them to grow and be just you know be just like me, be as good, uh, be as happy, or be as successful as me." I don't. I want my daughters to be better than me. I really want her to. <laughs> There's that better term terminology again, but I want her to to experience further progression than what I did. I want all this work that I'm doing now to help her so that when she gets of age where she's it's gonna be her turn to go further, she'll have less work to do because I've already did all this, and she can actually put more focus on what's beyond, and she can go further if that makes any sense. Um, and I look, that not, uh, I look at it not just for my daughter, but for everyone that comes into my life. That's what's in my mind. What can I do <clears throat> excuse me, to help you today or in your life to help you progress and go further? So therefore, it will just be that ripple effect. And that spiral will keep turning round. And um, <clears throat> I have no doubts that paganism will always be will always be here because fund it's fundamentally in us. It, it's fundamentally, is that the word? No, it's not really, it's, it's in, it's profoundly in us. So yeah, so there you have it. If you got this far, thank you for watching. I do realize it's a long one. And um, I will see you in September, or if not before, if I have to sub in. But uh, whenever it may be, until next time, safe journeys to you all.